Hello and welcome Pisces. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. This is your June 2023 general reading. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now Pisces, what we do here, we will look at um, your general reading in section. So we will look at the overall energy for the months of June 2023 for the sign of Pisces before we then move on to your emotional core. The emotional core is whether or not there's love coming in, whether or not there's healing to be that needs to be happening, that kind of stuff. Before we then finally look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of June 2023. Pisceans, are you ready? Let's have a look. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, you have two eagles. You have the golden eagle and the bald eagle. Point is, the eagle is a massive energy uh, um, being, if that makes sense, and a very powerful one at that. It's a bird of prey. What the guides are saying is, your overall energy in June has to do with how you carry yourself. I'm a Pisces myself, uh, you know, having a German accent making me uh, uh, being very upfront. I'm already quite loud <laughs> and in your face. But it's not about being in your face. It's about, you know, not only standing your ground, but say to people, that's what I want to do. That's what I'm, that's where I'm going here, right? Um, and people who say it can't be done should just make way for those who do it. The energy here is quite forceful to, to begin with. So what you are being asked to understand when it comes to the overall energy for the months of June 2023, if you want to bring about change, you have to bring about change, if that makes sense. My guides are the funniest guides on earth. They just showed me um, <laughs> uh, Christopher Lee in um, the the movie with the Headless Horseman, where he says, it is you, Ichabod Crane, or whatever his name is. Right? So that's what they showed me when, when I just said, it is you that needs to do this. So again, <laughs> bit of a of a breachy uh, a tone here, but the point is for us Pisceans, we have to make things happen ourselves, and the best way to do it is by not to be timid. Really, really important. That's the overall energy for the month of June 2023. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> so let's look at the emotional core for the month of June 2023 for the sign of the dreamer, which is Pisces. Okay, and we have the crocodile. Now, <coughs> the crocodile is an interesting symbolically uh, sim symbology being here <coughs> because the crocodile has been on this planet for quite some time and never really had to change. So when it comes to you, how you really feel and when it comes to you in relationships or wanting to have relationships, please understand that there's nothing wrong with you. Nobody asked you to change anything, if that makes sense, right? So don't go into like, oh, it's because I am such a prick. Right? That doesn't work. Stop whining, stop whinging, right? You want a new, a new beginning, which is what I'm actually getting for, for us Pisceans, um, is, is to, again, very in your face. It's like, you know, hey, I fancy you, would you like to have a drink? Even though it's not very romantic, that's what I'm getting. It's like, you know, you want something to happen, make it known. Don't sit there and hope that somehow uh, um, you can direct the energy of your future partner to you. Conversely, if you are in a relationship and if you are a person that wakes up in the morning and go like, it's not what it used to be, right? Then maybe it can be tweaked, but it can only be tweaked when your partner knows that, you know, there's something that quite uh, doesn't fulfill me anymore. Maybe we can do something about it. So what I'm not getting is for us Pisceans to walk away from anything. It's more the opposite. It's like, okay, well, you know, maybe maybe things are um, not as easy to manifest. So, so I don't see a lot of us Pisceans being gifted with just uh, a new partners walking in. Hello, right? <laughs> if that makes sense. So attracting someone for the sake of it is always difficult anyway because you, you, you want to plan I'm going out to meet someone. Normally it doesn't quite work that way. Point the guides are making is at the same time, you know, you still should go out. Really, really important. And here is why you are 
asked to look at the entirety of the crocodile because the crocodile is in shamanism a revered animal because the crocodile can bring up to nine little crocodiles into the pouch of its mouth and bring them to safety you are super caring right which is also a very piscean trait sounds a bit you know egotistical when i when, when i say so myself being a pisces right but we are super deep we are super caring right and it is a benefit that any partner um, that we could ever have will benefit from so what i'm not getting for us pisceans is to go into that mode of oh i need to heal from this i need to do this i need to do this nobody here talks about you needing time out to let it run through your system this is about saying like no right i'm sort of done with the past and i'm ready for something new and i'm gonna make it happen or i manifest it strongly and i will go out and have fun no matter what right so go out be the rock star that you are and have fun right so shall we have a look at the um opportunities as the presenter says to you in the month of june then let's have a look ah oh, dear <laughs> We have the white tail deer when it comes to opportunities. And opportunities are going to be coming in slowly. What the guides are saying is, I know you're going to make things happen. And also, I see a progression here. So whatever it is you're planning will actually go ahead and, and will happen. But the timing, again, has to do with the fact that, that June is in the middle of the, of the year. You know, um, we're heading towards summer. A lot of people are actually stepping back from doing stuff and going to more relaxing mode. So the point is the energy of go-getters or let's go and do stuff um, is a bit diminished in the summer months, if that makes sense, uh, for good reason. The point the guides are making is when it comes to new opportunities, especially those that, that um, uh, sustain you financially, um, they're not going to be um, numerous. They're not going to be a lot of them in june all the guides are saying is right allow yourself some time and maybe a bit of patience to understand that you know yes you're going forward which is good so you're not stuck here you're going forward but you need to have patience with god whatever it is you want to do hasn't quite manifested yet properly right so you have to give it time okay my dear pisceans that's all i got you are watching thomas's tower readings with myself thomas Janak. please like subscribe and share and if you want to leave a comment it would be nice to hear from you um, and that's all I got. I see you all next month. Bye-bye.